Are you guys recording? Uh, no, wait, you start. <laughs> Hi, we're Davina and Daniel. We're wedding photographers. We're going to be talking a little bit about our gear and uh, more specifically about our recent move from full-frame DSLR camera into a mirrorless system with Sony. We're extremely minimalist, so it's going to be pretty quick. No. <laughs> this is our gear right here. Uh, one body with one zoom lens, 24-105 lens, and one flash for receptions. We do carry a backup in our camera bag, obviously, just in case something happens. But generally speaking, we're each shooting with one of these. So we wanted to switch to mirrorless for a long time. The biggest reason was because we wanted to be silent. We have a storytelling approach to weddings and being able to really get in there with our subjects and have them really not notice us was a really big factor for us. So this camera allows us to be completely silent because it has a completely silent shutter. One of the things that we really love the most about this Sony A9 is the focusing system. It is so powerful, so quick. For example, when the bride and groom are walking out and it's the recessional, things are happening really, really quickly. Sometimes we have confetti being thrown in the air and we really want our camera to be able to keep up with it. It also allows you to record certain faces. So for example, when we start a wedding day, we'll take a headshot of the bride, a headshot of the groom, and then our camera knows that those are the most important people in the frame. So when we go to eye autofocus, it'll go to those people, even in a large group setting. Yeah, so it's really important that you kind of get a hang of your own buttons and programming everything the way that you want it. So if you're going to use features like this auto eye focus, that you can program your buttons so that it's easily accessible to you. We used to shoot with two bodies. We had a 35 millimeter fixed lens and an 85 fixed lens on the other body. And when we switched to the Sony, we decided to go with a zoom lens. We really wanted to minimize the weight that was on our bodies. We're feeling really tired, really sore the day after a wedding. Now just having one body makes it that much easier on our own bodies. This lens covers really everything from 24 to 105, so it's good for every situation that we're in. More often than not, we'll try to stick to 35, which is a very documentary focal length. If we need just a little bit of extra space, we'll you know, open up to 28 or 24. And then when we're doing portraits, especially something more safe and formal, we'll stick to 50, 70, and even 105, which is good for capturing some of the events that we can't get to close enough. We're still kind of getting used to the concept of just zooming in or zooming out of an image instead of switching from one camera to the other. But what's been important for us is just to retain that mentality of having a fixed lens. The idea is, okay, now I'm shooting wide or now I'm shooting tight, instead of just kind of zooming in and out of an image. For receptions, we usually shoot with a balanced flash on our camera. And the way that we like to use our flash is simply by putting it a little bit off to the side and a little bit backwards. That allows for the light to have a lot of direction, so it's going to go in one angle and come back at the same angle, instead of going you know, straight up and straight down, which creates strong raccoon eyes. So we're always going to try to give a little bit of direction to the light. Even when the ceilings are really high, you know, 15, 20, 30 feet, it's still going to bounce. Or even if it's a dark ceiling, you just got to increase the output on the flash a little bit. Uh, however, when there is nowhere to bounce the flash, we'll usually take out the little pop-up card, keep the diffuser tucked inside, sneak it out maybe about halfway through and then do one click forward just to give a little bit of direction to the light. It's a little bit harsher than bouncing it directly off the ceiling but it still spreads out nicely over the entire scene. You will end up with a bit darker area at the bottom of the frame but that's really easy in post to just brush that in. And then when we're not shooting with a on-camera flash for receptions we'll just put the high ISO really high up in order to 12,800 or even 16,000, this camera can really, really handle it. And just shoot a lot of ambient light. We really want to preserve the mood and the feel of the photos and the, the reception, and the flash can kind of take a little bit of that away. So we try to shoot ambient light as much as possible. And then our favorite thing about this camera is once we put on a Zeiss 35 2.8 lens, which is very, very small. We use it around our house and on our travels with our kids. And this has really made us fall in love with you know, taking photos on a personal day-to-day -day basis. That has definitely been our favorite thing about switching to this camera. Yeah, we found ourselves using our phones all the time, whereas now you know, our work camera and our day-to-day -day camera is the same thing. So it makes us better photographers. It means we're more comfortable with the camera when we're taking it out um, you know, professionally. But it also means that we're getting better quality photos of our kids and our travels and our day-to-day -day life. 
So having minimalist gear like this is crucial to our approach to weddings, which is storytelling. It allows us to not fiddle around with you know tons of stuff and just focus on getting the moments. Silent Shutter is huge for that. It just breaks down that barrier between us and our subjects. They really do forget that we're there and when moments are tense or moments are emotional, they're really able to just be present in that moment instead of hearing us clicking away and being very aware that we're present. If you want to learn more, join us in our class on Creative Live. I'm Daniel. And I'm Davina. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Creative, Creative Live. Live. That was good. So bad, you know. I was featured in TV. <laughs> no, I don't think so.